friends, Amanda here with Panda Paws, etc. I have another planner video for you today, but first of all, just wanted to thank everyone who watched my first video on my personal size Malden. Thank you so much for all the, the comments and, and kind words, um, the, the views and, and subscribers as well. So um, thank you so much for that. Um, I hope to to try and post at least one video a week. Um, I do work a Monday through Friday day job, so during the weeks they're pretty busy for me, but um, on the weekend is, is really when I have time for, for planning and, and creativity. So my goal is to try and post at least one video um, a week, probably going to be on the weekends. Um, but anyway, today I wanted to give you a tour of a new planner that I just created. This is a planner that I'm going to be using for work, um, and strictly for work. The My first video was my personal planner that I use to house all of my personal information. This one is going to be to house all of my work information, appointments, meetings, notes that I have, tasks, things that need to be done, things that happen on a regular basis to help me kind of keep track and, and organize my work day. So this is a brand new planner and the reason I wanted to go ahead and do this video today is because once I have everything in it, all of the personal information in it, I'm not really going to be able to show it to you. So what you're going to see today is a completely blank planner. Um, there's nothing written in it as of yet. That's going to be my project for this afternoon after I film this video. But I wanted to show you today what it looks like and what I plan to put in here before I actually have any, any of the personal stuff in there because I wouldn't be able to show you like 75% of it. So let's go ahead and jump into this. Um, this is actually an A5 size. Um, that I'm using for work because I have a lot more. I need more space. I need more place to take notes. I need bigger calendars. I just have a whole lot more going on. And the personal size would be just too small to use for work. I also don't plan on carrying this one with me every day. Uh, I'll leave it at work, um, except you know on the days that I'm going to work from home. So being a little bit bigger and a little bit heavier and, and chunky is okay for work because I'm not going to carry it every day. This is a Filofax Finsbury in black. Um, it's brand new. I bought it specifically for this project. I want to show you the charms that I have here on the outside. I don't know if you can see those. We have a little owl and a little tree charm. And you'll see in a second when we open it up kind of the, the significance of, of the owl and the tree. So let's go ahead and open it up. Um, I apologize if the angle is a little off here. Um, I needed to raise the camera up a little higher because the, uh, the A5 is much bigger than the personal. So to get it all in the shot, I had to, to raise it up a bit. So let's go ahead and open it up. As I mentioned in my last video, um, I love pockets. So the Finsbury was a great option for me because it has a lot of pockets over here on the side. So we have a big pocket back here that doesn't have anything in it except an envelope at the minute, at the moment. We have one, two, three, four, five, five credit card slots, and then there's this slot here that is a little window that you can put something in, you know, to see through there. And then we have this zipper pocket over here, which I don't have anything in there yet. Right here I just have some page flags that you'll see how I'm using those. These are the most adorable little post-it note page flags, I guess. Um, they're little woodland creatures, and again, you'll, you'll see the, get the connection here in just a minute. But I just thought they were so cute. They're, they're obviously really too tiny to write anything on, so I think I'll use them more for, for decoration. But I just thought those guys were cute. And then I have a squirrel paper clip right here. So I'm going to put more stuff in here. Like I said, this is, is brand new. Um, I just created this yesterday. So let's take a look and, and jump right in here. So I'm the kind of person that I, I like everything to match. And I, I love for things to have a theme. So 
this is a themed, I tried to create a themed planner um, that I'm going to use for work. And as you can see here, probably tell what my theme is, is this cute little guy right here, this hedgehog. I've just, I've seen a lot of these guys around lately um, on cards and stationery and, and paper and videos and napkins. They're just, they seem to be pretty popular and they're just so darn cute. So this little guy here is the inspiration for this planner setup. It's just a greeting card um, that I purchased at Target comes in a box of, of six or eight, and this is actually the envelope from that. And I just cut it down and punched some holes in it, because I just, I think he's cute. And he's he'll be the first thing I see when I open up this planner. The next thing I have here is my dashboard. Um, and I just, I made this out of a piece of craft paper. I stuck some stickers on here. Here's my little hedgehog. And then I laminated it. So this will be where I can put any sticky notes, any lists or, or notes or reminders, things that I need to see right away every morning when I get to work and open this up. So that's what will be here. And then I have a little hedgehog magnetic paper clip here that I got from Barnes & Noble. On the back is just some some sticky notes and some page flags. I put a couple quotes, one down here at the the bottom and one up here at the top just to kind of add a little to it but this is going to be where I keep my sticky notes so moving on to my dividers and I'm sorry about the glare not sure if that's any better but here are the dividers and I made these dividers they are not fancy at all but I wanted to capture the hedgehog theme so what I did is I purchased some clip art off of an Etsy shop, which I'll try and link down below. And all I did was I used Word, Microsoft Word, and created these on regular old white paper. I la and I just used regular paper because I was going to laminate them. And that's that gives it enough strength. So I just put the title on here with the little clip art of my hedgehog here. And I, after I did this, I realized that says 2015, which is good for this year, but next year, if I use the same ones, I'm going to have to make a new one. But it's just a regular old piece of paper with tabs. I have four, and then I have some sub-tabs, which you'll see in just a minute. So this first section is my calendar. We have, have the file of facts year at a glance. And then, first of all, you're going to see my month on two pages, which there's nothing on them yet. Again, because I, I want to be able to show this to you guys. This is my month on two pages. I'm going to do just minimal decorating, just a little bit. I've got a little bit of washi tape on there now. Um, but this is where I'm going to keep track of all the things that happen on a regular basis on a certain date and time. So I've got some dots here, different colored dots, which I'll be using to mark those, those different things. So things at work that have to be done on a certain date things that have to be done on a certain time, and it's repetitive. It happens every single month. So that's what I'm going to use my calendar for, my month on two pages. And I've got enough to go all the way through the end of the year. These are the undated calendars, which I like, because then I can just, every year I can just print these off and, and use the same ones. I don't have to purchase new, new pages, and all I have to do is just write the date in there, which is no big deal. Okay. So moving on, as I have in my personal planner, which you, you've seen before, I have my boyfriend's work schedule here, just, just for planning purposes, so I can, can look at that quickly and see what days he's working and what days he's off. The next section is really going to be the bulk of this planner. It's what I'm calling my to-do section. Again, another um, clip art says to-dos on a laminated piece of just regular paper. Here we have a, a, I don't know what you call these, but they're, they're tags. Tags of, I guess, when you want to identify, attach it onto something. Reminds me of a luggage tag, but this one's just made out of paper. Bright pink. I'm going to use this as a key for my color coding, which I haven't quite figured out how I'm going to do that yet. But that's going to be used for my color coding key. And then this, I just want to show you as something I made. Um, in keeping with the hedgehog theme, I don't know if you can see those little guys on there, but those little hedgehogs on the ribbon. 
and I just used a gold paper clip and, and folded that over. Cute little guys. Okay, so my to-do section. I'm actually using a week on two pages calendar inserts as my to-do list. Again, you're not going to see anything written on here. It's, it's all blank. But what I plan to do is because I have different clients that I do different work for, I like the calendar on the left-hand side, and then it's broken down into one, two, three, four, five different columns. I'm going to use each of those different columns for different clients and different teams. So I know if I have something I have to do for client A on Tuesday, I can write it here. If I have something that I have to have done for client B on Friday, I can write it here and so forth. So I'm really going to use this calendar as my to-do list. It's got a little space up here for notes. This is the upcoming week. Again, nothing written on here. This is just a page marker that I made out of craft paper. Um, there's nothing on it yet, but I'll be using it to stick to do notes on it. And right now I have just another one of my little squirrel, squirrel paper clips on there. I have the whole year in here. So as things come up, I can kind of just plan ahead when I know I have something that has to be done in August for client C. On this date, I can write it over here. That way I'm able to, to kind of structure my day a little bit better and know what I have to do for who and when. So I've got all of 2015 in here. I've also got just some extra to-do list pages just in case I you know, have something that might not be you know, related to any particular client and I can write those, keep a separate list back here. The next section is my notes section. The cute little hedgehog here. And this is strictly going to be for notes. And I'm going to break it out by, by section, um, different, different clients and different groups. So that's what these tabs are here. These are very brightly colored pieces of paper that I've had for a while and never used. But they're, they're pretty. They're nice for summer, bright colors. So I figured I'd stick them in here and use those. But these individual tabs here are going to be broken out for different, different types of notes. The last section is my contact info section. And in here I've got the, not filled out, the personal information page. I've got some of the the holidays information sheets that come with the Filofax inserts. I know everybody's seen these, but I do work with people all over the world, so it's kind of good to know when, when the holidays are outside of the standard U.S. holidays we have here. I've got the contact information sheets that came with the Filofax that I'll be filling out some contact information there. Then I've also got this password tracker. Got passwords for everything, so I'll be using this to keep track of those different passwords. And most of them have to change on a regular basis, so I'll be able to keep track of that here. And then the last thing I have in here in the pocket that came, the top loading pocket that came with the Filofax, is this schedule. Um, and it's a, it's a schedule I tried to make for my work day. So it starts at 5 a.m. and it goes till 7 p.m. And it's only Monday through Friday. Again, this is tr to try and help me structure my day and, and focus on, on things that need to happen on certain days and certain times. So if there's repeating meetings that I have every single week on the same day at the same time, I've got it on my schedule here. And then I can just focus my other work around those. So, I don't know how this will work. Um, you know, as, as you know, things, things come up, so you can't always strictly stick to the schedule you have written down. But this is just a baseline to, to try and help me stay more on track and, and be more efficient throughout the day. So, we'll see how it works. No promises. Um, and then here, I just have a quote that I found um, from Mark Twain. It says, All you 
need in this life is ignorance and confidence, then success is sure. I just thought it was, was nice, and I like the different colored pencils. And then here I just have the, the flyleaf that came with the Filofax, so it's protecting the pages when it's closed. I don't have anything here. Um, didn't come with a pad of paper. I would like to find one that will, will fit in here, um, just so I can use that for taking notes. But I don't have anything there just yet. The pen I plan to use, um, this is new. I just got this in the mail. This is one of those multi-pens. As you can see the make of it, Zebra Sarasa, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, in the 0 0.5, and it's got black, red, green, and blue, and then it's also a pencil. So I got all of those, all of those in one and don't have to carry around a whole bunch of different pens and pencils and so forth with me. So I'm going to keep that in here doesn't fit in the pen loop, but I can just slide it right on here, and it'll fit right there. So that's my planner, uh, my A5. Like I said, I'm going to put all of this together um, this afternoon because I'm really anxious to start using it at work. Um, I don't know as I'll be able to do any more videos or updates on this. Like I said, because once I start putting information in it, I really won't be able to share um, the specific information I have in it. But I'm looking forward to being able to keep all of my notes and calendars and, you know, information, cheat sheets, um, standard operating procedures, how-tos, everything in one spot. So on the days that I do work from home, I can just grab this and I have everything with me. So... I hope you enjoyed. Um, thank you for watching. Questions, comments, feedback, as always, are welcome. And until next time, we'll talk later. Bye.